you gotta love Apple and then you gotta hate Apple. I mean, they give you all these beautiful products like the iPods, iPhones, iPads, and the MacBooks or whatnot. But when it comes to simple device management, uh, <clears throat> I think there's a lot to be uh, desired. For example, I have this iPod here. This thing, I don't know, it's probably like five years old. Um, what happened was I forgot my passcode and there's really no simple way to reset the passcode or unlock it with like my iTunes account. Um, basically I have to wipe this device clean and restore from a backup or set up as a new device which is completely ridiculous not to offer you any kind of you know backend restoring or anything like that except for full wipe. Today I'm going to show you how to do this full wipe okay. It turns out it is fairly simple but it's just annoying that nothing else is built in so I put in my uh, my code wrong a few times so at first it tells me like five minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes and then it just says disabled and then if you hook it up to iTunes iTunes says well you gotta enter the passcode but I can't because it's disabled so if you look at instructions you have to enter the recovery mode and then reset the device and so I'll show you step by step. Okay so as you see here iPods disabled to connect to iTunes that's the only thing we can do okay so on this old cable remember this cable okay we're gonna connect it to iTunes okay <clears throat> now iTunes says that you have to enter the passcode. Well, I can't enter the passcode, okay? Um, if you click more info, they take you to this website here, okay? Um, basically, you have to, this is the step we're gonna do. So you have to erase your device with recovery mode to remove your passcode, okay? Very simple instructions. So on this iPod here, we're gonna hold the power button and the home button until we see the screen here, okay? Okay, just took a screenshot. Let's keep holding it. So it shuts off and then it restarts and it enters the recovery mode. Okay, keep holding it. Now it says connected to iTunes. Okay, we're supposed to let go when we see connect to iTunes. Okay, so we had a couple unsuccessful attempts. Let's try this again, okay? Yeah, connect the cable. Now it says the iPod's locked, well we cannot enter the passcode, okay, so we cancel this and we hold these two buttons until it enters the recovery mode and then iTunes should detect that the device is in recovery mode and let us uh, wipe it and restore it, okay? Okay, we should leave the cable still connected. Okay, I had to release it really quick. Okay. So it says iTunes has detected an iPod in the recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used. So we're going to say OK. And then we got to go click this thing here, restore iPod right here. So keep in mind, this will erase everything. OK, so yeah, I mean, I don't even know what this is. And I haven't used this in years. Um, I guess without the Pesco we can't get any pictures, but I really don't think I have anything on there. Now if you do have stuff on there, 
um, then um, you gotta look at other options maybe take it to Apple store uh, and they can recover what's on this thing okay restore an update okay so we're installing the latest iOS version for this device that's available click next agree so here we go so it's a 90 megs So this is going to take some time. It says it's going to take about 10 minutes, okay? Well, let's see what happens then, okay? <clears throat> okay, so um, as you can see, we have about 18 seconds left, 16, 15. Uh, let's see what changes on this screen once that updates. Nine, eight, seven. Okay, processing file. Okay, I can hear the computer spinning up. Verifying iPod, preparing iPod for restore. So I just restore, I mean, shut it off. So that's the status bar up here where you can see what's going on. Okay, it's starting up. Okay, it looks like it's loading something onto the iPod. <clears throat> now this might take a few minutes, okay? So we're just going to leave it like this on the screen here. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> okay, so it uh, prepared the uh, iPod software and now it's restoring the iPod software. Notice we still keep it connected. Uh, you can see the status on top here, what's going on, the restoring iPod software. Okay, and it gives us a progress bar. So let's see how, this long, uh, how long this takes. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so I actually got the message that a message there was a temporary problem completing a request, network connection was reset. Not sure what that means. Okay. Uh, but the iPod looks like it restored. Okay, so we're gonna go to English, United States. Wi-Fi. Okay, we're gonna join this network. Next, activating. Let's see restore from iCloud backup. Okay, let's see if we can restore anything from my cloud backup. No backups available. Okay, restore from iTunes. That is connected. Okay. Okay, so it's... Alright, well we have no backups, okay? <laughs> so we can set up as a new one, okay? So we can disconnect this, go back, set up as a new iPod Touch, and you can go from there, okay? Alright, well, um, <clears throat> this is it. I guess it was fairly easy. I wish there was a way to actually not have to go through a reset procedure because 
If you have any images or any data on here that you want to save, that's most likely gone. Um, so remember always the best way is to remember your passcode and keep up on the um, you have to keep up on the uh, on the backups so because if you have a backup you can always restore it and if you don't then obviously you can't uh, thanks so much for wa watching I hope this was helpful to you and see you again in the next video